Hello everyone, this is Jeannie Ellis, also known as Scrapbooking Mamma. Today I want to share with you how I make my dragonflies out of beads. I had made a spool ornament and I had a picture of a dragonfly at the end and someone asked me uh, how, you know, that they would like to know how to do that. So today that's what I'm going to do is share with you how I make my dragonflies. Now the first thing that you need is a very thin, which I use a 26 uh, gauge wire, and this is silver, and it won't matter, and you'll see why, uh, that I'm, I'm mixing two colors of, of wire, but this is silver, 26 gauge, and then it's a 10 inch, and this is a 6 inch, I believe, let me make sure, could be 7 inch, yeah, it is 7 inch, it's 7 inch wire, um, this one's a 22 gauge, so then you'll need three crystal beads. These are three millimeter, I believe. No, they're six millimeter. These are six millimeter crystal beads. These are eight millimeter beads. And then this one is a nine millimeter bead. And let's see, of course you'll need wire cutters and I've got a pair of pliers and round nose pliers. And you might need some some tool like this too, but I don't think so in this point at this stage. Anyway, first thing you're going to do is string 40 crystal beads, and I didn't tell you how you know that to begin with, but there's 40 of these, and these are three millimeter beads, and that's why I'm using silver is because you really can't tell. If I put gold in there, then you would have seen the uh, the uh, gold through the crystal. But there's 40 of these. So the first thing that we want to do is try to get started. <laughs> you like the word try. To get started on making our wings. So what I'm going to do, and I showed you how to do this in a recent video on making uh, some floral sprays. And see how they're circled. Okay, that's our beginning of our wing. And so what you want to do is cross over your wires and then take the opposite wire. Oops, don't lose that. Cross your wires over and then you're going to thread through the first bead. And this is why it's got to be thin because you got to make sure that it's going to fit in there. Just one bead, pull it through that one bead, and then pull, and this is where you need your pliers so you can get that wire going over here so you can make your circle. And see now you have a circle. It's not a great circle at this point, but that doesn't matter because it's not going to stay a circle. And then what I like to do Squish it and just give these a, a little bit of a twist just to keep them from uh, the circle from opening up. It's just a real simple little twist. So now I have that and that will be cut off later. Now I have that, we're going to set that aside and then we're going to take the 7 inch 22 gauge wire. And we're going to put a loop on the end of this wire. One reason it gives it a decorative look. Another reason is because uh, you need something that's going to keep your beads from falling off. You can fix that later if you want to, or you can make it a decorative bead uh, loop if you want. We're just doing a simple loop. Oops, don't want to throw that out making a simple loop make sure I'm staying in the picture there close it up so you don't lose in your bees or they don't get hung up because I've had them hang up in there so you got your loop here at the end now you want to take your beads the three crystal first. And you can make these as long or as short as you want. 
now your eight millimeter beads. Three of those. And now the nine millimeter. Okay, so now you have your body. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do Again, I want to make sure it's twisted on there good. And then I'm going to cut off the majority of this because that's going to be hidden, the rest of it. And I'm going to take it and then, let's see, let's squeeze this so it doesn't poke me. I'm going to use that as my center point for this wire to go through. Now, I did put the head on, but really we don't need the head on there yet. So that was, I jumped the gun on that. So let's go ahead, make sure. That you've got that the uh, body down as far as you want it to go. So you don't, you know, you don't want a lot of slack in there. You may have a little slack, but that's okay. So now I want to pull that through. And I just wrap that around there one time. So now you can see that it's wrapped. And then I want to take, and let's get these beads counted so we can get them in the right spot. There's one, two. Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. That's where my, essentially my center is going to be. And I may have gotten a little too tight. Usually I don't do it tight enough. But there's your center point of your bead for your wings. We're going to try to get it in there as much as possible. We'll straighten it up in a little bit. And then just wrap it. Maybe too close. Make sure I got 20 again. I always recount several times. 2, 4, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Yeah. So I'm going to take, let me give it a little more slack there. I'm going to wrap it and try to pull it through the center there instead as much as possible. Get my pliers. You may not want to do it as tight as I did. Just give it some uh, flexibility there. Okay, so now I've got the wings on. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this around too. Just keep the wire looking even. So I've got one wire here. Now I'm going to put one over here. Or the wire actually is the same wire. If it doesn't look right, then I'll take it back off. I think I'm going to take that off because I wasn't, oh no, I want it. I can do it. I was thinking I had it upside down there, but I didn't. How about that? Okay, so now you've got that wrapped in there for stability. Now you just lack the little head.
bent it so much I get on there. Now, if you don't have a pair of these pliers, just take a pair of pliers or something and put a cloth in between and use it that way. And that way you won't ruin your uh, wire. So now I've got the head on and it needs to be held together. So I'm pulling that tight, I'm getting my wire cutters, and I am going to snip a lot of that off, which is okay because I'd rather have a little bit too much than not enough, and I've done that before. I'm going to just use my thumb to press it. Make my loop here. I hope that was my water reminder. If you didn't did if you heard that, that is. Okay. Now I have a cute little dragonfly. Now isn't he cute? And I, I really like the pink color. Um it to me the pink just it looks classy, and you can make this shabby chic on on a project, or if you like brighter colors, you've got this, and I've got others too, but uh, they're put away. But I really like the little crystal looking wings on there. So anyway, there's a dragonfly. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, you know I hope you make some of your own. And if you do, I would love to see what you've created. So thank you for watching. I'm just doing a few adjustments here and I will see you next video. Have a great day. Blessings to you.